Hey everybody, <clears throat> so it's the next day. Went inside, well, went inside last night and did some web surfing looking looking at this subject and what I had originally thought was my problem <clears throat> what I went into all this doing was way back when I took this engine apart the first time I was unable to adjust the valve lashing it's like the push rods were too long so I did some reading back in the 80s and, and read places that perhaps the heads had been machined too many times and that um, caused them to be too short and you could buy larger base gaskets which I did right here buy thicker ones back from Porsche back in the day so I bought them put them in then I was able to adjust the valves what I didn't do was check my deck height how high the piston comes up in the cylinder so Everything worked, I could adjust the valves. But, so I was going into this thinking that these heads had been machined a bunch of times because they're different. I think I showed you in the last, or earlier, where one's a little later head. Anyway, I was reading last night, all web forums, and people had talked about heads being fly cut too many times. Where they had almost, they'd been cut so many times they had taken off the first cooling fan. Well, then it occurred to me, they're talking about fly cutting. I was originally thinking they were talking about cutting this height, this height right here in the combustion chamber where the cylinder seals. But apparently they would just put it on a, a mill and the fly cutter spins around and just hog the whole surface off. And that would take this fin off. Well, then none of this has been, none of this has happened on this. Then I read somewhere where someone was talking about an engine they had that one they could adjust them on one side, not on the other, and they talked about having washers missing. Well, when we took this head off, and when I did originally, the four upper bolts that go in uh, in these holes right here, there are no washers in there. It is it is that nut straight on the aluminum. And then the lower ones have these kind of combination ones. They're threaded internally, and that's what the rocker stand threads to. Well, remember how the uh, O-rings were all blown out of them. So more than likely, they're supposed to have washers under them, too. So this, <laughs> when this engine got put together at one point in its life, every washer was omitted. So what I read is they're about two millimeters thick from the description I saw. That would bring the surface of the head out from the block and would allow you to have enough valve lash adjustment. So I was able to order those and also by doing what I did here and spacing this up I probably had about a seven to one compression ratio which would explain why I know of a Porsche 356 and we'll just smoke this car. So, also, might explain all the oil leaks too. The more I looked this morning, it's pretty wet down here. Well, <laughs> if, if that wasn't sealed, I'm sure both heads look the same. I want to explain why my heater boxes so filthy it was leaking quite a bit in there I'd say so I placed an order last night and I should have 16 washers coming and the gasket set because I'm going to ditch these thick spacers and the, the gasket kits comes with a thin I don't know it's like you know, a tenth of a millimeter base gasket so when I get them, I'll pull these off, put the right base gasket on. I guess I'll try to scrub this carbon ring out of here because now my top rings and piston's going to come up further. And with that um, washer underneath here, that should keep the O-rings from getting squished and blown out in the head. And this thing ought to run a lot better, leak a little less. So anyway. 
it'll probably be the end of this video. I'm going to clean up some stuff and wait for the UPS man to show up. Oh, one thing I did notice too, someone was talking about in one of the forums about the orange book, talking about the washers. And I remembered I had the orange book when I found it. And sure enough, removed the cylinder head retaining nuts with Allen wrench. Um, <laughs> Remove the washers located between the nut and the cylinder head. Uh, sure enough, in the book that I used way back then, which is disintegrated, I saw the same thing in here. What was it? It's on this page. Um, anyway, it did say remove the. Uh, right there it is. Remove rocker assembly, loosen all eight Allen nuts. Remove nuts and washers. So I removed the nuts and never paid attention. There were no washers. So we have washers on the way. I might be able to make this thing right for once. So I'm going to work on cleaning all this oily mess up. and We'll bring you back and we'll start reassembling. Thanks for liking and subscribing. See ya.